Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to create a simple terrain with erosion inside the view. After we take this terrain, we'll export as an image so we can preview it and import inside the Unreal Engine so we can go ahead and use it for our future projects. Again, in these tutorials, we'll just only will be focusing how to export and import the shape of the terrains from view inside the um, Unreal Engine. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Okay, so we start by creating terrain and for this one we just want to use normal high field terrain. Uh, we don't need the procedural because we won't be zooming in and we have very preset resolution for this. So I'm going to create standard terrain. We'll zoom out. Right here is our terrain and let's edit. We can just double time click or right click and select edit object. Here's our terrain editor and inside the terrain editor a couple things I want to modify. First off I want to increase my resolution and I want to go at least 2048 um, by 2048 so it will give me a bit nicer uh, effect as well. I don't need mountain I want um, kind of put it on the edges so I'm unchecking the zero edge and you can see as we uncheck now we have it this element so we can use the terrain Okay, next I want to use it actually um, young mountains or peaks. So we'll go click on this. And as we perform, you can see it's tons of teeny tiny peaks. Uh, peaks. I don't know if um, this is what I'm going to noisy for me. If you need to modify, we can go inside the scale for our altitude productions and just put it number five, the example. You can see how it's increasing. So it does look um, a little bit better, at least for the purpose that I want to do. Next, I want to add some erosion to this and inside Vue, you have a very good collection of this. We'll go right click, pop up in our mouth and we can select which one we want. I want to just use it reverse. So erosions will take a little bit time, maybe about a um, minute or so. Again, I'm running a little bit faster, so I'm running on um, 8 cores, 16 um, thread processors, so it's a little bit faster going. But again, for now, I'll just go to, and we're resuming after it's complete. So you can see we have a nice, beautiful version applied to this. So we can look around. Okay, we can apply more and more effect or play a little bit more. Right now, I just want to go with flow, workflow, how we can create terrain and export it. So let's go ahead. When we're done, we click OK. And right here is our terrain. Next, I will take my camera, put it above. And just be sure to put it down. So I want to just render and preview this terrain, just overall how it will look. Um, this way you can also place object and maybe model and terrain uh, to what idea or level you want to create inside the Unreal Engine. Um, for the render, a couple things I want to modify. One, I want to disable after exposure. And also I want in atmosphere editor, I want to change to the standard. This will provide a little bit more for me details that I'm going to you look and inside the render we go final render to screen we'll go 50 click OK and let's render our results so we can preview so for the render it should take very fast but I'm just going to pause anyway so we don't and resume as soon when it's complete okay render is completed and you can see it's take actually three seconds for that preview to at all and right here it's terrain it's look okay so i don't worry right now about any, any texturing or materials maybe we'll do this in the future but right now i'm just want only export the shape okay when it's done i want to export it so we'll select our object right click and go to um, export object so let's go over very fast the properties we have so you can see we have it options that we can select it and currently it's set to the um, after this FBX we want to use it this one format but I will export anyway what I'm mostly interested in is exporting 2D high map and we're going to export in PEG format you can see we have it always different one however for Unreal Engine we want to export in PNG 
and by default it will export in 16-bit precision so be sure it's what we wanted and I don't think it's an actual new one it's allowed you to even export in 8-bit and again we specify the path where we want to export our elements so we have it also additional properties where we have it a uh, line of distance so we can a uh, uh, level of detail sorry where we can specify how many we want it we'll just leave it this as default um, if we have it billboards anything like uh, plants or other ones we can include we don't care about those ones as well right now and we also have it export materials so as we're creating map we can include this uh, we could increase resolution a little bit more on our materials and at least we want to match resolution what we set for our terrain um, for this one so let's go ahead alpha bump map normal so just we'll export all of them and we can preview afterwards and uh, I think this is about all what I want to do how I say we don't really worry about materials at this point but I want preview and showing what we have it as export this way um, okay so right here and we have it also texture I think this is good let's go ahead click export and I just will override some of my stuff that I've done before and you can see export actually happening quite a bit fast is going okay so export is completed let's go inside the Photoshop and here is a few files we exported so we export terrain PNG and we can check it is 16 bit grayscale so it's what we are actually going after we also have it our texture is for exporting for us as a TFF image and we also have it additional fuse but it is um kind of you can see maybe a little bit let's have it a little bit um bump on this ones but overall this is map it's what we're looking for to use it so let's go ahead now jump inside the unreal engine okay so we'll go create a new project and let's call this root terrain It doesn't I remember it does not like this one so we'll just type stuff so we'll just save it in our Unreal folder let's create a blank project okay here's our black project we'll go to um, create new level just default so we don't need anything um, we'll go select landscape and inside landscape what we want to select import the file so let's go click on this and inside the import file we need to select high map so we'll need loaded high map file and this is in the place where we specified and we'll we save it our map okay right here we have it our terrain and you notice we have it png or raw so it png is what we save it we click ok now it's preloaded it did look our resolution what do we have uh i don't want to modify any of these properties because i locations is correction does not we can set on zero zero you can specify different if you have it multiple or we'll just leave it everything by default and we'll click import so at this point let's go to actually um zoom out right here you can see our terrain and it does look very nice so we have it all our elements up okay we do want maybe rebuild little bit on a lighting in this case but again this is quite a bit large terrain remember the size that I was creating so it is here kind of created we can actually just maybe even zoom more out of this element so we can preview okay right here this is quite a bit large think about this is one square it's what usually terrain you do do for your gaming or other ones so it's like almost all the world in this case we created okay, let me do a couple things so we'll go to just uh, rebuild a um, little bit our lighting quality so we'll go to maybe production quality and rebuild okay so here's our basic default completed um, rebuild texture so we can look preview you can see we have a very nice um exactly same texture that we created inside the view and the terrain shape we imported inside unreal engine so we can use it for our next projects 
And um, in the future, we'll look how we can do with a sky map and uh, maybe with uh, um, texturing and other stuff. But for this purpose, we have created our terrain inside the view, exported and imported inside the Unreal Engine. So thank you for watching this tutorial.